Buen Camino there pilgrims, I'm Jeremiah and I'm your Camino guide. Today I have a quick video from you from the trail. I get a lot of questions from folks about uh, who are overweight or out of shape asking about whether they can make Camino. And as I'm walking up this hill uh, just before Zubiri on Camino Frances, I'm reminded that this is a, an ongoing question for a lot of you. So I want to answer just a couple of uh, or kind of maybe tips or or things that will be necessary if you're somebody who's out of shape overweight um, right now I'm about 290 pounds and 5'8 so I'm pretty severely obese but I climbed the mountain up to Brown Society's uh, across the Pyrenees a couple days ago and just climbed another hill and actually just turned downhill, which is going to be nice for the video so I can talk. But one thing that I would say if you are overweight and out of shape is just plan to take longer, especially on the uphills. For me, it's a lot of weight to carry up a hill. And so everybody has a little bit different way of pacing. For me, I go pretty fast, but only for short bursts. And as I feel my heart rate raising, I just stop and uh, I let my heart rate come back down. One, I'm not sure what kind of health risks or heart attack and things like that might be introduced. But also, uh, the, um, that's just what works for me for pacing. The second thing that I would say is sometimes on downhills, uh, overweight people will struggle. This has never been a concern of mine because I have pretty good technique with my poles, but when you're overweight, especially then adding the weight of a pack on your back, you can have a lot of impact on your knees and ankles, on your joints uh, as you go downhill, particularly if it's a steep downhill. So this is where trekking poles become really essential. Good technique with the te trekking poles, make them a little longer so that they impact the ground sooner. Make sure the trekking pole is hitting the ground before your foot does with each step uh, because that's really important for reducing the impact on your joints, which is gonna be a lot, uh, very important for those who are overweight. And then the third point I would say is make sure that you um, kind of ease into your distances. So don't, if you come out of St. John, you don't have a lot of options other than stopping at Orson to reduce that walk up the mountain. But some of your early distances uh, make those a bit shorter because uh, you are going to be going a little slower probably than other pilgrims if you're out of shape or overweight. But I just want this to be an encouragement. I have walked Camino de Santiago as much as 325 pounds. It is absolutely possible uh, even if you're far overweight. And I will say that I have been, uh, you know, I had checkups with my doctor and you know my blood pressure is good my uh, cholesterol is good all the markers of of internal health are are pretty much there even though i'm pretty overweight which is uh, maybe a, a testament to my having walked camino consistently as well but anyway let this be an encouragement to you you absolutely can make it you're going to be out of breath a little more than others you're going to go a little slower up the hills um, might need some shorter days, but you're going to be great. If you, if this kind of video is helpful for you, click on this video right here, and that's going to give you some tips on how to fit your backpack if you're overweight, which can be a little bit tricky for overweight pilgrims. Boy, you can come me know.